Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we will study the anatomy of the rhomboid muscles. So the rhomboid muscles are these two superficial extrinsic muscles of the back. This one on the upper side is the rhomboid minor and this one just inferior to it is the rhomboid major muscle. These two muscles connect the medial border of the scapula to the vertebral column. So in this way, these muscles hold the scapula to the thoracic wall, as you can see. The rhomboid muscles lie deep to the trapezius muscle, as you can see. So the rhomboid minor muscle originates from the nuchal ligament and the spines of the seventh cervical and first thoracic vertebrae. And the fibers of the rhomboid minor muscle then travel inferolaterally to insert on that portion of the medial border of the scapula which is just adjacent to the spine of the scapula. While the rhomboid major muscle originates from the spines of the second to fifth thoracic vertebrae. And just like the rhomboid minor muscle, the fibers of the rhomboid major muscle travel inferolaterally to insert on the medial border of the scapula inferior to the spine of the scapula down as far as the inferior angle of the scapula. In terms of the nerve supply of the rhomboid muscles, so these muscles are supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve, which originates from the C4 and C5 cervical nerve roots. Now let's discuss the vascular supply of the rhomboid muscles. So this artery, that is the dorsal scapular artery, supplies the rhomboid muscles. This artery originates either from the transverse cervical artery are from the subclavian artery. The dorsal scapular artery runs down the medial border of the scapula and gives off several branches which then supply the rhomboid minor and major muscles, as you can see. Some other arterial branches such as the dorsal branches of the first to sixth posterior intercostal arteries also supply the rhomboid muscles. Now we are going to study about the actions performed by the rhomboid muscles. So these muscles mainly perform their functions by acting through their insertions on the medial border of the scapula. So let's discuss these functions. So an important action performed by the rhomboid muscles is the shoulder retraction also known as scapula adduction. So these two muscles perform this action of shoulder retraction by acting on the medial border of the scapula. So you can see that as these muscles contract, the muscle fibers of these muscles draw the scapula posterior medially and in this way these muscles adduct the scapula. Another action performed by the rhomboid muscles is that these muscles tilt or rotate the shoulder at the glenohumeral joint. This action is mainly performed by the rhomboid major muscle because the inferior fibers of the rhomboid major insert over the inferior angle of the scapula. So as the inferior fibers of the rhomboid major contract, these fibers draw the scapula posterior medially and tilt the scapula. As a result, the glenohumeral joint is rotated laterally. Now let's review all these points which we have studied about the rhomboid muscles. So the rhomboid minor muscle originates from the nuchal ligament and the spines of the seventh cervical and first thoracic vertebrae. It inserts on the medial border of the scapula adjacent to the spine of the scapula. While the rhomboid major muscle originates from the spines of the second to fifth thoracic vertebrae. It inserts on the medial border of the scapula inferior to the spine down as far as the inferior angle of the scapula. These two muscles are supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve. The vascular supply of these muscles, so the dorsal scapular artery supply these muscles. In addition, the dorsal branches of the first to sixth posterior intercostal arteries also supply these muscles. The actions performed by these muscles are scapula adduction and tilting or rotation of the shoulder at the glenohumeral joint. So this was about the rhomboid muscles. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much.